Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. This video is going to be covering the installation of vCenter Server 6.7 appliance. So now I'm going to be installing this on my Dell R610 as the actual machine, the host machine is going to run it, and then I'm going to be attaching it to the two VMs I talked about in my networking video. Uh, just two 6.7 install um uh, ES ESXi. I can't talk uh, VMs that it's going to use for this example and then of course I'm going to cover additional networking and stuff in another video for distribution or distributed networks and distributed networks however you want to say it and all stuff like that all the fancy stuff so let's get started all right so once you download this uh, vCenter server appliance uh, from VMware downloads you can configure like if you're going to do it on a trial basis, which is what I'm doing uh, You could get uh, 60 days. I think it is of trial um, What you're going to do is mount the ISO um, Which is the ISO file you download from there on your computer um, and The installer installer is compatible with Mac Linux Windows so going to go to the compatible uh, system in my case it's going to be Windows um, well this is a Windows 10 64 bit so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the UI installer and I'm going to actually do Win32 even though it's a 64 bit because it's not a Linux 64 and I am then going to do install Now you get an option here of doing install, upgrade, migrate, and restore. So if you need to migrate um, from an existing server, you can actually migrate your data. Uh, you can restore a previous one. You can upgrade your current one, but I don't actually have one installed here. So I'm going to go install. And of course, you got stage one, stage two. So you go ahead and always have to accept. If you don't accept, you don't do it. Now you have your choice of either splitting it up and having an external platform service controller. So if you had like a uh, Windows box, for example, set up as your main vCenter and you want to actually run the vCenter server separately or split it to where you have a um, split node or things like that, all different options. But for your basic config, you're just going to go a vCenter server with embedded platform service controller. Now my IP address for my machine is this one, which is 192.168.1.241. And I am actually going to put in my root and my password. All right, there we go. I'm going to call this uh, VM vCenter01. And I'm going to go ahead and set my passwords. Now it has to be a secure password, so you're going to need a special character, at least one. My VM is going to be a tiny VM. It's going to be the basics. I don't need anything really fancy on that. So, and the storage size is basically the default. <clears throat> I'm going to do enable thin disk because I got a small data store. My network is going to be on my uh, home net so I can get to it externally. No, wait, sorry. I have to do it on my server network because of my VMs. My fully qualified domain name, um, that is going to be, you can if you have an actual external facing domain, you can use it. If you have an internal one, like for example, I'm using bacaweb.local, you can do that and then as you see here, it uses a fully qualified domain name or IP address as a system name. <clears throat> so if you leave the optional field empty, for, uh, for reverse lookup will try to identify the host name associated with the IP address. So in this case, your fully qualified domain name for this one would be vcenter01.bacaweb.local. And I'm going to do 66.30 because I have 10 and 12 
as uh, my host. I'm just going to do 30 as my actual vCenter. And I'm going to go ahead and put my default gateway and my DNS server right now is the default gateway. And you go ahead and hit next. And then finish. <laughs>
wait, 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 wait. Wait. So I've been installing 6.5, 6.0, 5.5, things like that. And I have to make notice of something. One, Flash is completely gone in the uh, 6.7 from everything that I've seen. It's HTML5 and Flex only. And because of that, I want the next video to be an experience. I want it to be a video that you guys can enjoy and I can actually experience something new. So we're going to stop right here. Now, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, learned something from it, and, you know, stay tuned for the next video. Also, you know the drill. Subscribe like if you like the video. Dislike if you don't. If you don't like the video or you do like the video but have some ideas for what I should do, leave me a comment either on this video or in the main uh, community channel or, hey, on my Twitter. Um, same way it's spelled here. Well, actually, I don't have my uh, YouTube URL yet. It's uh, Ravenhawk Tech, all one word, over at Twitter. Uh, I also have an Instagram, but I'm on I'm a Tech Talk channel. Not many pictures there. So you can follow me on Twitter, follow me here, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed.